Hey beauties! So this is our second tip video in the series. Um, if you missed the first one, you know, here's the link. Check it out. And uh, let's just get started. So the first tip is about bobby pins and how to uh, apply them and have them actually stay in and not slip out. If you have very silky hair or very thin hair or slippery hair, um, you probably hate bobby pins because they always slip out of your hair. So the tip is to actually apply um, a little bit of hairspray to the bobby pin and this can create this creates a little bit of friction and uh, makes the bobby pin a little bit stickier so when you do put it in your hair it stays and remember bumpy side down the second tip is blast your hair with cold air that's kind of a tongue twister <laughs> you know that cool setting that's on your blow dryer i don't know some of you may or may not use it i use it all the time especially after i blow dry my hair i'm all hot and sweaty and feels great but anyways that actually is very beneficial to use um, after you blow dry your hair just to give your your hair a quick uh, blast of cold air really helps to set the style um, uh, eliminates frizz and just really gives a nice texture to your hair and makes it nice and shiny so uh, always keep in mind to give yourself a cool blast of cold air quick blast of cold air the third tip is to use a wide tooth comb to actually give yourself a scalp massage. We do have a more detailed video on this, so if you're interested, uh, feel free to check that out. But scalp massages feel great and they are very beneficial to your hair, especially if you want to grow your hair long. So um, all you have to do is use a wide tooth comb, make sure you have no tangles in your hair, and just give yourself a nice massage, comb through very, very well. And what it does is stimulates the blood flow to your hair so that your hair follicles get healthier. The fourth tip is to add baking soda to any regular shampoo to make a clarifying shampoo. So the reason this is really good for you uh, is because if you put a little bit of baking soda with your shampoo, it kind of creates like an exfoliating type of uh, feel and it really is great for your scalp. A good scalp means good hair. And the fifth tip for this video and final tip for this video is um, just to add a little bit of volume to a regular standard ponytail. So what you need is just a tiny little clip. Um, you can use one about this size or perhaps just a little bit bigger. Um, the thinner the hair you have, probably the smaller clip um, so that way it doesn't peek through. All you have to do is make your ponytail the way that you'd like. So if you, you know, depending where you want to put it, high or low, um, and then all you need to do is put your little clip in between the ponytail. So you, you would split your pony into two and add the clip. All this does is create a nice voluminous look. So that's it for this video, short and sweet. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed these tips. Be sure to check out our first one and the ones coming in the future. And uh, that's about it guys. So see you later beauties. My third tip, third tip. So the third tip is to put lemon juice in your hair to create natural highlights. And who doesn't want shiny hair? <laughs> so the fourth tip is to trim your hair. It is very important to trim your hair often. Mm -hmm. 